Hello and welcome. This is Rick Baxter with Cost Control Software. In this video, we're going to take a, a fairly quick look at the AutoCAD or any CAD uh, integration. It's basically a CAD integration into Job Manager. How do I bring in my uh, bill of materials that you may have generated in a CAD system uh, directly into your Job Manager software? Let's take a peek at this. <clears throat> so I'm going to go right into the screen and I'm going to bring up first of all the files that are generated. And I've got two samples here and I'll show you why I've got two here in just a second. But I've got one for job and one for item bill of materials. And let's just let me just open both of these so you can see what's there. I'm just going to open this with WordPad. Now notice this is a CVS file. Uh, C I'm sorry, CSV file. Um, but you can see here's one. So this is the one for jobs. And notice there, see there's lots of descriptions. This is just the way it exports out of your uh, CAD uh, software. Okay, so I'm going to assume whatever CAD software you might have, uh, and there's a lot of them out there, um, it's going to just generate some kind of file with uh, the various fields that you've selected to export. And I'll show you those here in just a second. And let's also look at this one, which is the item bomb. Let me open this also with uh, WordPad as well. Now this is a little simpler list. It looks like this has got the uh, part number probably and then the description here and then looks like at the end is uh, probably the quantity uh, that is needed of that particular item. So a fairly short list uh, of those two. So you get the idea. The First of all, the first thing you've got to generate and store somewhere in your system. I just put them here in my um, uh, company files the uh, CAD samples so and we'll go pick those up now the other thing I want you to see so this is the raw data here okay then you also need a um, a mapping of that data into your software so let's go to the development side and I want you to see this as well so I'm now in the what's called classic development and I'm going to object designer XML ports and I've created two XML ports here so first one is a, a CAD import that's going to the item planning lines and one is a, a CAD import that's going to the job planning line so it depends on where you want to store in fact you can route that raw data to wherever you want to put it so let me just take a quick peek at each of these this is the one that's going to the, let's see, which one did I select? This is the job planning lines. So this has the um, a line number, and the item number, the name, a description, and a quantity. So that's the three, four fields that are available there. Let's take a look at this other one. This is our CAD import, and the design on that has, this one actually has several more fields. We're bringing in, obviously, the job number, the drawing number, the part number, the quantity per unit, then the number, description, description 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in this case, we wanted several description fields um, to describe what that item is. The width, the length, uh, some remarks, direct unit cost, and a due date. Uh, so a lot of information in this case being brought in. So it just depends on what you need because what really controls it is right in here. So the way you design the data port controls how things are going to go into your NAV software. So um, and, and if there's any questions on anything, that I, this is a more of a technical presentation. So if there's any questions on any of this, just feel free to give me a call, and I'll be glad to give you some tips on any of this. Okay, so there's the background. Now let's see how it actually uh, operates. So what I've done is I've actually created, let's see. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll just create, we've got time, I'm going to create a... Uh, a new inventory item. I've got several finished good numbers here. I've got it filtered on the FGs. But let's just create a new one so you can see it from work from scratch. So I'm going to create a new um, FG 107. Actually, I think it was 108. Okay, so I'm going to create this new part number. 
and we'll just call it a finished good number 108 okay and I'm not going to spend much time on the costing side of the replenishment side what we really need to do is uh, to start to set up the bill of materials and the router for this so let's just go directly to that and I'm gonna first we need the router so we definitely need to create a, a task router for the um, for this uh, for this item now rather than typing one in from scratch I'm just gonna uh, quickly copy one from another inventory item save myself a little uh, time here so we're gonna copy this from FG uh, 103 and enter task number I don't think I need the task number and let's go ahead and let that run and it's complete and there it is so okay so now for this item my FG 108 I've just copied an existing router from another one because it's very much the same so it's cutting bending welding polishing and I, one other thing I want to show you right here in this sample we've got a, a code uh, for material steel plastic and electrical so basically they're wanting to be able to separate your bill of materials by a material type or in your case you're in your business and I don't obviously know your business but you might want to have the cutting materials separated from bending materials from welding materials from painting materials so you could basically route those um, those files not just one file but you might have multiple files generated from your uh, CAD software that you want to strategically place in each one of these categories to show what the uh, requirements are uh, material wise in each category or you could just put it all into one category just called materials so it just depends on the nature of your business and how you want to organize uh, the information I'm going to keep it fairly simple for this example I think I'll just put it all here actually I think I'll put it down here in cutting in 410 so remember 410 that number so let's go back let's now we're just going to go back to the item card and we will import from our CAD drawing the parent number is FG 108 and we're going to put it into code 410 so I just come down here to 410 approve that so basically we're going to be putting that bill of materials uh, into 410 so I'll say OK and then you need to uh, select obviously which file that you want to put in there and I just need to kind of quickly select it so I'm going to go to where it's located I just have it stuck in our knowledge base under attain put a lot of things here and CAD sample drawing so we're gonna put this in the item and that what I said I was gonna do the item file so we're gonna put this in the item file and it says the import is complete goes very quickly now we want to verify that obviously so let's just come back into our items we'll come down to our jobs and we can just look right here at the bill of materials and if everything went well there it is so and I didn't show you this before but it has um, uh, this was all blank so this has brought in let me get this a little bigger on your screen it's brought in the entire bill of materials directly from your uh, CAD drawing with that simple little import and the various quantities uh, which will then get copied to the job so I brought in this example into the uh, items uh, the items planning line so here's the item planning line one little comment I want to make quickly here is if the item you can set this up a couple ways we've got it set so that if the item doesn't exist in your inventory it literally creates the item for you automatically you could also set it so that it doesn't really even need a, um, a physical inventory item you might want to create um, kind of a generic item and uh, post it there or use the um, the even more generic the uh, method of 
it's called general ledger uh, using general ledger chart of account numbers to uh, use it and then you don't have to have anything it's a very simple way to bring it in and no uh, part number is really required so a lot of a lot of options as far as bringing in your bill of materials but this is obviously when you create your job is going to bring these items into that job ready for you to start work on so there's the a simple method of uh, bringing in your uh, AutoCAD drawing directly into NAV. Thanks so much for taking a look.